Pandora's Vault was one of Minecraft's first inescapable prisons. And it is kind of outdated now, considering we have many other inescapable prisons. But me and Cosmibear decided that we would upgrade the inescapable prison to be even more inescapable. So me and Cosmibear proudly present Pandora's Vault Upgraded. The outside of the prison remains the same as it was on the Dream SMP, but it is much more different in defense. The roof of the prison has bubble columns, so you can't pearl into the unchunk band area. There is hundreds of outer ZPIs and very secure wither walls, which would take a long time to get through. There is a pearl detector on the floor of the prison, which would detect anyone trying to pearl up, and then an extra layer of pearl defense just in case. With all of that covered, let's go into the visiting process. The player will first go through the very high security outer portal by flicking this lever, which will unlock the portal. They will then go through and will appear in a very secure nether hub with a shulker box, ender chest, and more. Once all the visitors' items have been deposited, they will be broken with a piston and put in an ender chest. Then, when the warden tells the visitor, they will go back through the portal. When the visitors through the portal, the portal will instantly close and they will be chunk banned for a temporary amount of time. This will tell the guards how many players are in the portal. If there is more than one, they will act accordingly. Right when the visitor clicks on the bed, they will then go die in lava. And when they respawn, their spawn will be instantly obstructed, making sure they can't end exploit. The visitor will then go on a flying machine platform and stand on the honey block. This will allow them to fly over a giant lava pit and allow them to see the prisoner. This is a very secure way to visit because there's no a visitor and prisoner contact, which makes it even more secure. When your visit is done, just jump in the lava or if you don't want to, then the flying machine will be retracted and guard action will be taken. Once completed and you died in the lava or by a guard, you will be at world spawn. The prison has multiple elder guardians giving the entire prison mining fatigue, making it harder to bypass security. Inside the warden room, there's also a button on the floor, which, if clicked, will immediately activate a chunk ban, which will go across the entire prison. This chunk ban gives a piglin an item, and the piglin is splashed with potions if it is blown up. So, when this button is clicked, if anything bypasses security, you are not going to be unchunk banned. If you wanted to visit this prison in a real scenario, you'd have to join a voice call on Discord to make sure that everything runs smoothly and nothing happens that can bypass security. If the guards have any reason to be suspicious, the, pr the visitor or prisoner will be asked to share their screen and they will confirm that it's not a fake screen share to ensure they have no items or anything that would bypass security. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Minecraft video where we upgraded Pandora's Vault. Also, be sure to subscribe to both me and Cosme Bear. And I will see you all in the next one.